Hello everybody, this is at Stock Dragon uh, making a video. I haven't made a video in a couple of years and mostly that was due to the, the reason being is because I really didn't trade a lot uh, but now I'm kind of pretty much doing it uh, full time. Um, so I just wanted to to record this video and show you basically things, kind of the the mistakes that I made today. I wanted to show you the mistakes I made today and basically show you why I made those mistakes. And the biggest reason is is because I did not follow my 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 uh, plan. Basically, uh, I you know I every every morning you know I scan for uh, gappers and see what's gapping and and uh, once I see something that I like I will map out support and resistances I will map out uh, pre-market uh, support and resistances and daily I'll go back on the chart and I'll go back you know uh, one to three years and see what the the daily resistance and supports are and map those out as well and, uh, and this is going to show you uh, basically not to panic um, like this video the reason why I'm doing it is mostly for myself. I noticed that I I did get quite a few followers over the past uh, couple of years. One of my videos has been seen probably over twenty thousand times, which is which is really cool. I mean, it really wasn't my intention for it to actually be seen that many times. I, I don't think I've ever had a video seen that many times, but um, you know, it's pretty cool. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to jump into the uh, the chart here. Um, oh, and by the way, today is June seventh, two thousand eighteen. Uh, for those of you that l watch this video in the future, but uh, what I wanted to go over is OPHT, um, and you'll notice that uh, the the gray area. This is a thinkorswim platform. So this gray area right here, this is pre-market. This is the previous day, and as you can see, it didn't do nothing the whole day. But I'm not really too interested in that at the moment. What we're looking at is we're looking at the uh, the pre-market. So you'll notice that. I have marked out here the high of pre-market, which is at 345. And I put that in white because I want the white to be intraday support and resistances. So I marked that in white. All these yellow one lines that you see here, those are our daily support and resistances. So if you go back in the chart, I'm not going to do that here. Um, but if you go back in the chart, you will see that these are... Uh, um, support and resistances but they do play a key role into where I actually mess this uh, stock up this is a, a, a one minute chart I love doing the one minute chart because it kind of gives you uh, it, when you're when you're day trading you actually have to be quick and this allows you to actually be quick especially if you trade that first uh, few minutes of uh, of the open so and to go back over uh, what I want to do is also tell you what these uh, other lines are um, the the most important ones that you're actually going to want to pay attention to are is this thick light blue line. This is the eight EMA, and this uh, thick red line is the twenty EMA, and those will come in into play here into what I'm explaining uh, here in just a moment. Uh, this uh, smaller orange line is the fifty day. Uh, this yellow dotted line is the uh, fifty. EMA, uh, this is the 50 SMA, 50 EMA, and then this purple line is the 100 uh, EMA. I believe it's the 100. Let me double check that. Uh, let's see. Oh, sorry, it's the 200. It's the 200 EMA. Uh, and then this, uh, you'll notice this other uh, dotted uh, purple line in here. That's actually the uh, VWAP. Um, so I do put that on my charts. I don't use it too much, but it is good for uh, guidance. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I want to go ahead and uh, go through, and I'll just uh, go this. I'll just fast forward this uh, candle by candle, so you can kind of see what I was thinking and, and where I actually made my mistakes, and you will see them. And uh, and then, like I said, I. I don't want everybody to make the same mistakes and like I said I'm kind of making this video for myself so I don't make the same mistakes again um, so we'll go with the first opening candle let's kind of zoom in here a little bit uh, so you notice it goes up to uh, 337 opens up at uh, 325 goes right up to 337 now I hadn't bought in yet because um, obviously it hadn't broke uh, the pre-market uh, high yet which is oops so I didn't mean to do that 
And that's the thing with thinkorswim, you kind of it kind of doesn't let you do your your thing that you wanted to do. Anyway, okay, so here is that first candle. And so it's approaching the uh, pre-market. So still didn't buy in yet. Uh, next candle. Um, put in, it started right here. And then as I started inching up, I put my buy order right here at 346. I put a stop limit. Uh, so... Basically, I set it uh, 346 and a limit of 350. So I wanted to get filled anywhere between 346 and 350, because uh, you can see the pre-market resistance was at uh, 345. So as you can see, this candle it, it it broke it, and I got filled at 350. Um, went up a little bit, and we'll go to the next candle. Uh, went up to 360, so in the first minute I was pretty much green like right away. Okay, now the next candle, um, this is where th things started uh, breaking down and I made my mistakes. And, and keep in mind, I had I had these lines, these this, these yellow lines, support and resistance lines mapped out before I even bought. That's, that's very important into uh, not making this mistake that I just made. So next candle goes red. Okay, so I'm a little bit underwater here, thinking, okay, well, this thing, you know, it's probably just, uh, I'm just going to wait till the next candle because I think it's probably going to go up a little bit more. And next candle, red. It goes red, and I start freaking out, okay? And then the next thing you know, I freaking just sell. I just sell, and then I sell right here, right at the bottom. And then what does it do? Next candle goes right back up. And next candle, look at that, goes right back up. Um, just a kind of overview of how many shares I had actually bought. I, I bought 1,000 shares at 346, uh, or actually, I'm sorry, at 350. I put my, my, uh, my trigger price was 346, but I got filled at 350. But anyway, as you can see, it, it goes up to like 367. Uh, next candle, kind of a little red. Next candle goes up to a high of uh, 375. You know, that's, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 minutes into open. It goes up to a high of 375. So you can kind of already guess where I'm going to be going with this as far as, uh, let me get this out of the way. This is not important. Um, you kind of guess where I'm going to be going with this and why and where I made the mistake. So I've, I've always had these, these these eight, the eight and EMA and the twenty EMA on my charts, um, but I kind of I kind of end up ignoring them a little bit. So what I did just before I made this video, I made them thick, thick as I could. Uh, you'll notice the the blue one; it's the, as thick as it can go, because in the future I don't want to be ignoring these lines. So as you can see right here where I sold like a dummy you know once it breaks you gotta think of it as like levels of support um, so the first one will be obviously this 8 and and that's not very a very strong support so it's okay if it actually goes through it the red's gonna be a little bit more the 8 or I'm sorry the 20 EMA is gonna be a little bit um, more support um, but as you can see, like where this this 20 EMA and my yellow line of uh, 333, because uh, if you go back on the chart, uh, like I said, I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to I don't want to lose where I am. But if you go back on the chart, this was the high of day. Uh, it was the daily high of day a couple of couple of days ago. I uh, can't remember which day, but if you go back on the chart, you'll be able to to see it. So. Bounces right, right there at support and just goes up. And so normally these are like you know the spikes that I look for. I look for those quick spikes. You know, you get you know you get in and you get out. You know, within like the first like ten minutes once it breaks the pre-market high. But you know, like I said, I didn't I didn't follow the supports. I just you know once I saw this red candle, I just panicked and just sold, sold all my uh, thousand shares. And so, as you can see, I was I was underwater. Um, like I said, if I had if I had just said my stop actually should have been 
here, because I'm okay with losing a little bit more if it actually breaks support, but where it has like strong support in this area, this should have been my, my stop right under here, right under this yellow line. Probably about 3.30 would have been a good stop. Yeah, I would have lost more than <clears throat> than what I would have did if I, than where I sold like right here. Um, but like I said, I mean, this this is, this is why I'm making this video so I can point out where the re the support the support are. Um, so again, you know, this is a very strong support right here, and like I said, you could have rode the the eight EMA up until about three seventy five. Um, <clears throat> a good indication of when to get out actually um, would probably have been the, these next two candles um, because you'll notice that you have a lower high and then a lower high and at this point you would think okay well you know it's probably not going to go much further so uh, chances are you probably wouldn't have got out at exactly the top here but once you start seeing these uh, lower highs uh, right here that's a good indication to get out and especially where it's you know it's a little bit uh, further away from the ATMA okay and so I'm actually going to show you uh, I actually traded this twice today after I made this mistake I said well you know I'm I didn't want to revenge trade. I just kind of wanted to look at something, and I was actually looking at other stocks, you know, to see if there was anything else I could make my money back on. <clears throat> and let me go fast forward. Remember, these are one-minute candles. And right here. So, and I saw this again. I saw, okay, well, it's at the resistance of 375. Remember that this is the high that it got to that first initial high, then it dropped down, went up to like uh, 382. Um, again, here, here's another uh, support. This is why the these EMAs are very important because you'll notice that it actually bounces off a lot, and especially on these strong stocks. Um, like I said, this one gapped up. Um, I'm sure it had some kind of news or something in it. Um, but again, like I said, uh, I mean, uh, sorry, I lost where I was. But anyway, so right here at 375, I started noticing it again. And this is kind of what you want to look for, this like little trend line right here. You'll notice that it goes right here, and then it just kind of like breaks and goes up to 375, and you have some volume coming in. And so I put my, and once I started seeing that it was hitting the 375 resistance, and there was a seller there, uh, I can't remember exactly what it was, but, um, so I put my uh, limit order at 376, and uh, limit order of 376 to a max of 379, and I think I got filled at 379, if I'm not mistaken. That's the one thing I hate about the, these limit orders, they don't fill you at the trigger price sometimes. So... Next candle, get filled. Next candle goes up to 386. All right, and you know, so I'm, you know, back to not necessarily in the green. Again, a thousand shares at 379, so it goes up to uh, 386. So I'm at least a little bit, gr uh, not green, but at least I'm making up my a little bit uh, for my loss. And then you'll notice it goes, it kind of chops around a little bit. And then you'll notice this red candle, and guess where I got out? This red candle. I did make a little little bit of a, I wouldn't say profit, but I did, you know, I, at least I mitigated the, the loss that I had a little bit. Uh, but then again, you know, here's where I'm explaining, you know, these uh, support and resistances, this red line, and then combined with the uh, 382 high of day from earlier. And then look what it does. You can see, just rides the 8 EMA all the way up to to 440. Again, you know, here's your clue to get out. You know, get basically a double top. The next one, it gets down. And then, if we fast forward, you can see. And another thing you can actually do is once this blue line crosses below the, the 8, crosses below the 20 EMA, that's a good spot to get out. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, like I said, these are places, things that you'd want to do to what you'd not want to do. You want to make sure you know your support and resistances.